Welcome to this presentation on the MSc in Nursing, available from the School of Nursing Midwifery here in Trinity College, Dublin. My name is Dr Mary Hughes and I'm an Associate Professor in Children's Nursing here at the School. I'm also the course coordinator for this programme and I'm delighted to give you a brief overview of this programme. The aim of this course is to provide students with a solid academic base to the understanding and development of nursing practice. Graduates of this course in applying their learning can be expected to provide quality nursing care and to promote and develop excellence in their practice setting. The course provides advanced study in research methods, the theoretical and practical aspects of management, clinical practice and leadership. It's important to note that this course is not a registration programme. Therefore, you must be a registered nurse to gain access to this course. You have two options. You can conduct this programme full time in one year, completing all of these modules, or over two years as a part time student, completing the same modules. They are the Advancing Theoretical Foundations of Nursing, Ethics and Law in Healthcare, Leadership, Quality Improvement and Governance, Theory and Practice of Inquiry Methods for Healthcare, Facilitating Learning in the Practice Environment. Advancing the Professional Role and the Dissertation Module. All students, whether they're full or part-time, will have a supervisor for the Dissertation Module. The course is delivered by a brilliant team of lecturers here in the school. These are internal and external people who are experts in their field. There's a range of assessments also, and these are available to you uh, at the start of your programme. You have a little bit of work to do in preparation for your application if you do wish to come onto the programme. All applicants must have evidence of their current NMBI registration. If you're not resident and working in Ireland and you're not registered with the NMBI, we need to have evidence of your registration in your own country with your nursing board. If you're a sponsored student, you'll need a letter confirming your funding support for your director of nursing. We also need all copies for your transcripts and parchments for all your education programmes completed to date. We need two referees, one clinical and one academic referee. If English isn't your first language, or if you haven't completed your programme as in, in English as your first language, we do require you to have a certificate of your English language competency. It's important to note that you can only gain access to this programme if you have a minimum of a 2-1 in your undergraduate degree programme. I hope this answered some of your questions. Please don't hesitate to contact us here in the school if you have any further questions that you wish to have answered. We look forward to welcoming you and thank you for your interest. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me.